put professional, previously impossible tools in the hands of any creator who's motivated. But that's meant so specifically for VR capture the world around content. Them and then share it the right. in a way that lets yeah. all of us jump to the top of that mountain, jump to any Backpack place or event 360 on cameras the for everybody. and experience the sights. <laughs> I'll tell you, the minute they come out with a good, reliable one, I'm buying it, because I'd love so to today, have that in the studio. I'd like to mm. preview something that we call Jump. 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 Jump enables and, and any creator to at the end of the show, the David Lee Roth. VR video. Yes. And right. it's video just a little, 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 little rock and roll. And make it available to everyone. It has three parts. A camera rig very specialized geometry, an assembler which turns raw footage into VR video, and a player. Yeah, this is what GoPro Some kind of, of announced. They acquired a company called so Color, K-O-L-O-R. The rigs that we built, they O-R. include 16 camera stitching. modules mounted 16 in a circular cameras. array. And you can actually use off-the-shelf cameras for this if you want. Hmm. And you can make the array out of yeah, basically any material. We've off- made you can build it yourself, 3D yeah. printed plastic, one out of machine metal, uh, and for good measure... Oh, so of course, they're giving you the plans, not the product. Cardboard. Interesting. And it worked. Uh, What's critical the software, is the actual is geometry. Right. And we spent a lot of time optimizing everything. The size the of the GoPro, rig, uh, the number was, and placement uh, of the device cameras, was six, field wasn't it? Six view, cameras. Relative overlap, every last detail. And we seem to be losing the slides here. Every last detail. Say it and again. Now, what we want to do is share what we've learned with everyone. Come on, Harry. So just like we did with cardboard, we're going to be opening up the camera geometry with plans available to everyone this summer. Do you need that many cameras? What is the field of, of cameras, view of yeah. a single camera? So anyone who's motivated will be able to build a jump-ready camera. Now, of course, <laughs> if you're heavily a pro and you've right. done filming with multiple cameras, you know that well it's funded. kind of complicated. Uh, you need synchronized recording, exposure control, and so on. And so we thought it would be good if someone who really knows how to build a great camera could help out. So oh, we called our friends go. at GoPro. Uh, and today, it is. I'm excited uh, to announce that GoPro plans to build and sell a jump-ready 360-degree camera array. All right. Nice. Smart. Very smart. Now, GoPro, of course, has enabled people to capture some of the world's most awesome experiences, including spherical content. And they're bringing their camera expertise to the jump-ready rig, which will include shared camera settings, frame-level synchronization, and other features that will allow all 16 cameras to operate as one. Here's what it looks like. There it is. So GoPro's wow. actually here with us oh, today. Come they brought on. one of their rigs, and it's in our IO sandbox. If you want to check Look it out. Look at that. Okay. So that's the camera geometry. Next up is what we call the assembler. And this is where the Google magic really begins. Yeah, the software is key on this. The assembler takes obviously. 16 different video feeds and uses a combination of computational in real photography. Time? computer vision, Feeds and a whole lot of computers to recreate the scene as viewed from thousands of in-between viewpoints everywhere along the circumference of the camera array. And we then use these in-between viewpoints to synthesize the final imagery, stereoscopic VR video. Let me yeah, show you an example of how the assembler creates one single frame of VR talk. video. So first, we take the raw camera data and we do a rough alignment. Next, we perform a global color calibration and exposure compensation, and things start to look a bit better. Yeah, but if we zoom that. in, you'll see wow. there's still scenes it looks like the, between uh, some of the images. Mo- photosphere. Chopper? Moto? Uh, yeah, here. Photosphere. To fix those, no, I'm thinking algorithms the place use is information actually, yeah. about the underlying the structure of the scene to perform a three-dimensional <laughs> is that a alignment. potato cannon? And the 3D alignment works by compensating for the depth of different objects oh, in the nice. scene. Oh, like nice. Yeah, software is very key on this. And it's this understanding of depth that also enables us to create all of those in-between viewpoints, mm. which you can see here. Wow. Like this. Interpolate between that. That looks seamless. That's amazing. Wow. Yeah, that's, that's, nice. wow. that's pretty amazing. That's some flare from the light, but otherwise, perfect. Yeah, yeah. yeah I like how the light flares. Cool. Yeah. It's a fundamentally different and more advanced approach than anything else we've seen. And unlike other solutions, you don't see borders where the cameras are spliced together and you have beautiful, accurate, depth-corrected stereo in all directions. Now, we've actually built a bunch of these cameras and sent them to places all over the world, mm. from the Google campus in Mountain View to Iceland to Japan, and we've captured some really beautiful places. Your GoPros? I have to say, are those you gotta bunnies? see these properly bucks? in yeah. VR. It depends on which one you get, you the nice ones, yeah. But let's see some footage so, here on stage. I think 16 cameras, 400 bucks. Six thousand. the wraparound bucks. screens. Oh, yeah, that's neat. Clef- that's probably why the screen is yeah, wraparound. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. So it's 
works video. with video, right. which I think is very interesting. Yeah. But I want to do this here. Hmm. I don't know how we broadcast it, but and nobody really has a live streaming for cardboard yet. Yeah, live streaming for cardboard. That'd be cool. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, this is it. I mean, people have done this kind of thing in film for a long time. Yeah. Uh, but it's still. It's expensive. It's expensive. Yeah. Where do you see this footage in VR? That's near what's interesting. Near, if you can look around. Things look far, and you can look That's crazy. All around you. Which is what's interesting like is that there. these are horizontal now, cameras. Now, assembling They're, footage the other like GoPro this, camera goes thousands all, of computers. 360. Mm. And this we want to make this processing power broadly available. So this summer, we'll begin making the Jump Assembler available to select creators worldwide. But this leaves one question. Where are people going to watch this stuff? How do you see it? Uh, are we going to make it what? so that Let think, anyone um, can experience it? YouTube? We've been working on something YouTube? for that, too. And uh, we call it YouTube. <laughs> 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 so starting this summer, YouTube will support Jump. Uh, so if you want really to experience VR video, That's actually all really you good, because they could have just put this into photos, right? right? Like they've done in the past. Now, in the meantime, uh, so this is starting this week, this. you can try out basic, non-stereoscopic 360 content in YouTube and cardboard. That's Jump, an open camera design with a fully integrated version from GoPro on the way. An assembler that turns raw footage into VR video with the help of thousands of computers. I guess and they didn't want to use super wide-angle lenses because of distortion all of this and will be available issues this summer. And I am so excited to, to see what you all create. You're still you looking at watching the YouTube in a tiny little VR. rectangle, though, right. you guys. Like well, I've, I've seen but, no, but that's the point. It's, it's, it's cardboard compatible, so you go to that, who, that YouTube Expeditions video, play it on your cardboard. Now you can look around. Mm -hmm. anywhere. Right, right, right. And, of course, cardboard, where we got started. The beginning of our journey. Cardboard is about VR for absolutely everyone. Somebody in the chat room said, I saw this in 1964 at Disneyland. Circle vision. Yeah.